doesn't matter if it's Biden or, or Trump or, or Kennedy. It doesn't matter because the decisions will be made um, above them. You have a, a situation now where the, the banking system is holding on for dear life because the plan all along uh, 2008 was just a, a prelude. The plan all along has been uh, to lead us into a massive financial crash, which will allow them problem, reaction, solution to offer the solution of a vastly different economic system, which will be based on uh, digital currencies and will be dystopia on steroids. With almost all other central banks researching, developing, or launching centrally controlled digital versions of their fiat currencies, there has been speculation that the United States Federal Reserve is next on the list. When the FedNow service went live last July, many speculated that it was a precursor to the eventual digitization of the US dollar and the complete subjugation of the American populace. Experts like popular bullion dealer Andy Schechtman and renowned investigative journalist Whitney Webb warned that there are ongoing efforts to launch a dollar-based CBDC, which will then be used to censor, control, and punish Americans who dare to refuse the mainstream narrative. According to Whitney, the CBDC will not be controlled by the Federal Reserve or any other governmental agency, but by the global cabal that controls the banking sector. This same cabal wants to strip you of everything you own to further its climate goals using a carbon credit system that is, as we speak, devastating small-scale farmers all over the world. Earlier this year, while testifying before Congress, Fed Chair Jerome Powell tried to present this as a good development. When asked about CBDCs, he said the possibility of the central bank issuing its own digital currency is slim. And if it ever came to pass, the government would play a limited role. However, Whitney has warned that they will try to soothe the populace and make us more welcoming of CBDCs by claiming it won't be under the Fed's control, but would be almost strictly under the purview of commercial banks. But we know the cabal is even worse. This is the same global cult that David Icke has warned us about for decades. They are devious, ruthless, and secretive and have all the resources to achieve their goals without revealing what they are up to until it is much too late. In a recent video, Ike reacts to Saudi Arabia's decision to stop selling its oil in dollars and using its excess oil proceeds to purchase US treasuries. This unwritten mutually beneficial agreement between the two countries has been in place for decades, but the Saudi kingdom is obviously shifting its alliance elsewhere and the Biden administration is just allowing it to happen. According to Ike, this is all deliberate as a part of the endgame to make the dollar lose its relevance and shift dominance permanently from the West to the East. We will present clips from Ike's video. But before we do, please take a little time to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. You can also drop your comments and observations in the comments section below to help this video reach more viewers. Thanks, and enjoy the video. I've been, uh, you know, tracking this now for uh, quite a long time, uh, and it's obvious that what has happened with Saudi Arabia now dropping the the petrodollar, dropping the dollar as its uh, only uh, form of, uh, of of international trading, another enormous step in moving power in the world from west to east. This has been going on in many and various ways um, for a long time. Uh, for instance, the uh, global corporations, and, and, and this is a point that, oh my goodness me, have I tried to get this across to those in the mainstream alternative media. I don't seem to, to grasp at that. when they talk about globalists, right? It's about a global agenda. It's not about America. That's part of it, but it's not about America as an individual country. It's about global power and a global dystopia. Um, therefore, um, as I have said so many times, that this global cult I've been exposing for 35 years does not do borders. It has no borders. The borders are for public consumption. Therefore, um, the uh, whole um, idea of a global dystopia is that it's everywhere. Borders don't matter. 
And so we have this um, situation where American corporations, American in uh, quotes, uh, actually cult corporations, have for how many decades now been moving their production out of America and the West into the East. And that's given the East, dominated, of course, by China, uh, control over vast tracts of the uh, global supply chain. And you look at the situation militarily uh, as they run down Western militaries and build up uh, Chinese militaries. Uh, you're looking at a, a transfer of power from the West to the East. And what has happened with this petrodollar, therefore, fits perfectly into that. Because what's been happening now uh, is the development of this BRICS trading uh, yeah. alliance, mm -hmm. uh, Brazil and Russia and China and South Africa, and, and more and more are coming in, of course, Iran and what have you. This BRICS alliance is basically focusing itself, not least because the, the major players, Russia and China, are in the East. Um, it's focusing itself in the East and, and India as well, of course. What is happening now is that the dropping of uh, the uh, dollar as the uh, exchange currency, the uh, international currency, means, as Saudi Arabia has said, it's going to now start trading in other currencies, including the Chinese currency. And at the same time this is happening, you've had um, the Russian stock market putting a stop on trading in the dollar and euros, Western currencies. And the, the, this is all about moving, um, moving power from uh, from west to east. After news of the petrodollar agreement went viral on social media, certain mainstream media agencies have been trying to downplay the significance of what's happening to the US dollar. Even if there wasn't a signed deal, Saudi Arabia's decision to accept only the US dollar for its oil made other OPEC countries do the same and birth the petrodollar system. That system is ending, and so will all the economic benefits we've gained from it over the past 50 years. The Middle Eastern country is now accepting other currencies for its oil deals and has been dumping U.S. treasuries, just like China, Japan, and other countries. As a result, the dollar share of global reserves has steadily fallen in recent years, going from over 78% in the early 80s to 48% as of 2023. This all indicates an imminent collapse, which Ike warns is much closer than many believe. Let's get back to the video. I've been making all these years is that um, countries and so-called governments uh, and dictators like uh, they have in Saudi Arabia, they are um, uh, pawns in the game. Uh, the real decisions uh, are made uh, in the shadows on a global level by a global cabal. And so, yes, Saudi Arabia will be uh, taking orders. Of course it will. And those orders and all these other decisions that are being made, including the, the corporate move from creating and manufacturing in um, America to, to the East and China, these will all be decisions that are globally coordinated. See, this is the thing that uh, it's very frustrating for me sometimes, well, more than sometimes, to see this focus on um, America in much of the mainstream alternative media when actually um, the real story is happening way beyond, uh, above and beyond what um, we perceive as the American government. It doesn't matter if it's Biden or, or Trump or, or Kennedy. It doesn't matter because the decisions will be made um, above them. And um, even if um, some politicians don't want to make certain decisions, then the circumstances are manipulated by the cult in the shadows to force them into making those decisions, even though they don't want to. This is a very, very significant move here, which can have enormous implications for not just global uh, finance and where the power is, but, but the everyday lives and ability to function of, of people all over the world. 
not least in America, you have a, a situation now where the, the the banking system is holding on for dear life because the plan all along, uh, 2008 was just a, a prelude. Um, the plan all along has been uh, to lead us into a massive financial crash, which will allow them problem, reaction, solution to um, offer the solution of a vastly different economic system, which will be based on uh, digital currencies and will be um, uh, dystopia on steroids. One of the things that's being pointed out is that the United States' ability to service its debt will be very, very much harmed by um, the petrodollar um, disappearing as an international trading currency, or the international trading currency anyway. I had a a look um, uh, this morning at the latest uh, United States debt. And, And by the way, this is only basically government debt. Add in all the private, personal, corporate debt, and my God, what will their figure be? But government debt is thirty-five trillion, or coming up to it now. How do you service that kind of debt? And now the 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 petrodollar uh, situation has happened. That's going to be vastly more difficult, according to Ike. This global cult he has been warning us about is a network of secret societies that is so fiercely compartmentalized that only a few people know the full story about control, censorship, and the plans to enslave the entire human population by taking away our ability to think for ourselves. Ike believes there are plans to enforce a new global order, one that will be absolutely dystopian so the few can control and completely enslave the many, and the plans to achieve this are already in motion. Ike also warns about the dangers of artificial intelligence, the latest tool of control, with which he believes this secret network plans to subjugate the entire human race. According to Ike, this is the end game, to put AI in charge of everything we read, watch, see, and learn, so that whoever controls AI can control the world. If all of these things happen, the world is going to become a dystopian nightmare, particularly for people who dare to question the narrative. This is why we must resist now before it becomes much too late by educating others about what's coming and ensuring that our communities are united against these evil plans. Only with a united voice can we begin to reject this dystopic new world order. Please share your thoughts on Ike's video in the comments section below. Also, ensure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for more videos. Thanks for watching.